This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations everyone, Ronan and Valdemar here with more Murdered Soul Suspect. Find ourselves in the room with the guitar, and I noticed while looking around, a little collection. Demons! Yay! Alright, anyway. So, with that found, let's get out of here. Also, I'm missing a couple of those saws, so I'm gonna have to... So I might have to do a little bit of, uh... Searching around after I get back to the bottom floor, because there's no saws up here, as far as I know. We all nothing in there. Ah, anyway, let's get out of here. Go, cat, go. Oh, we're back on the main floor again. How awesome! Oops. All right. I don't think I need the cat anymore, as far as I'm aware of. I gotta find that girl, I'll see if we can catch up to her. But let's uh, see what this what guy has to say. About? Nothing is gonna happen. Nothing bad we'll ever happened at, at any point. Doors okay, I'm going to before. It, well, if the story indicates something happening, like uh, like a cutscene occurs, I'm gonna take a double check around the the. The library, see if I can find those last two saws. So I'll I'll join you back if I find the saws or if I just continue on with the plot. Wait! Come back! Leaving so soon, dear. Yeah, sorry, uh, I'll be back. Don't wait up, Father. Be careful out there, amateur. Looks like she got to got away again. Hmm. So now we need to get to this priest dude. But how can we manipulate him? Uh, maybe I need to be the cat. Oh, they closed the door on me, so I can't go that way. Oh, there it is. Okay. Now we shall possess you and take you over. You. Actually, uh, the only reason I did this cutscene here is because I accidentally walked into this room. So I'm going to be right back after I do a double check on this area. And then I'll call the priest over. So I'll see you in a minute again. Okay, anyway. We're back. Sorry about that. Strike. Some objects can be activated to strike demons. This draws the demon's attention and allows you to sneak past them unnoticed. Using the ravens to strike the demons is often quite useful. Uh oh. Oh dear. So that's why there's ravens all over the place, huh? Hiding from demons can help you get closer to, distract uh, to the distracting objects. Okay. Oh, I have to hide now. I can't, uh. Uh, okay. Press A to strike demon. Or not, not A's. You'll be able to pressure the from behind to execute holding R. Okay. There we go. I think it's just because I rushed to the distraction, so that's why I get why I get killed so easily. Uh, or have so much trouble getting past those creatures. I saw... Okay. That's what I thought. I'm missing, like, a couple of these, so... Aha! There we go. All right. <laughs> That's what I was looking for the whole time. Was this? All right. Let's see what this little story is. The Bell Tower Banshee. Well, it was somewhere around noon on a Sunday, when I got a call from the pastor, he was looking for someone to fix up the old church. It had been sitting up on that hill, abandoned for over forty years, after getting hit by lightning back in '98. It suffered a bunch of fire damage. So of course I I agreed to help. I knew something was wrong the second I stepped inside. As an, an inexplicable chill came over me. Anyway, I, I shook it off and I, I set to work. As I started tearing up the damaged floorboards, they were all bad. Well, I uncovered an old rat's nest. It seemed like any of the others I'd seen over my 22 years in the construction business until I saw the scraps of human hair and bones 
that the rats had used to make it. Well, suddenly I, I heard the floorboards on the second floor creaking above me and the sounds of a young girl weeping. Well, you know, I was worried that the damaged section of the ceiling was going to give away under her weight, so you know, I, I yelled, hey, you know, stop, come down immediately. Well, my voice must have startled her because she went completely silent. So I got up and I, I went to look for her. When I entered the room upstairs, though, I was surprised to see it completely empty. It only took me, you know, a minute to make my way up there, and I would have heard her run off if she did. But that's when I heard the weeping again. Only this time it was coming from the bell tower. So I, I climbed up the long, treacherous, curving stairs at the top, and I, I noticed what I thought was dried blood dotting the way. When I finally got up to the belfry, I was just paralyzed with terror. Because lying before me was the withered corpse of a young girl. Judging by her sun-bleached clothes and weathered bones, it seemed like she'd been lying there for the better part of those 40 years the place had been empty. The rats, I mean, they, they picked her bones clean. I, well, I took off running. I didn't stop until I got all the way to town. The ravages of time made it impossible for the authorities to get any identity on this girl. It seems Salem will never know who killed her. Some people still claim to hear her weeping there. As for myself, I never went back. Yeah, that was kind of creepy. I don't know if we ran across that girl at some point or not. All right, back to back to destroying demons, as it were. Okay, so I need to... Yeah, I didn't think that thing was close enough. For that. Let's see if that uh, distracts them all enough to... Uh, teleport! Gotcha! Oh, t shoot! God damn it, it's always that, like, randomness factor that just, like, surprises me. Or, sorry, the randomness of the, uh... Of the, um... Of the butt. Like, uh, uh, I was like, oh, I, I at least got the direction I need to go to. But, uh... What are you doing, dude? I'll just possess a person. I don't think you can find me in these, right? Okay, good. Let's go back. Try it again. God. That's the only issue I have with this is the randomness. I wish the possession... Like, I know some people complain about, like, oh, it's the same button every time. But I would rather prefer it. There you go. Alright, let's go out to that girl. Let's get out of here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need. Nope. Damn it. Now what? Jesus. <laughs> so, where'd she go, huh? The clues that tell me where she would be heading. Um, probably something to do with the. Maybe the note? Yeah. That's it. Leave now, find my book at the station, and don't look back. She's headed to the police station to steal some book. <laughs> She'll blend in well there. <sighs> Did you know her mother worked for the police? <laughs> Fine. Don't tell me. 
octopus. Time to head back to the station. Well, looks like we got a new objective now. Now we got to find, uh... Now, are there any demons right here? Nope. Alright. So we need to go to the Salem Police Department. And since I already did all the looking around before, then... I can just go straight there. Hooray! Wait a minute. I thought you ascended. It's a glitch. The game... <laughs> game doesn't recognize I, I helped her. That's stupid. Wait, what am I doing? Are... Oh, is that? Oh, that's just a hide spot. Okay. Never mind then. But yeah, I already saved her. Or I already restored her, so that's just a glitch in the game. That her sprite's still there. Which it shouldn't be. Yeah, whatever. I got the achievement for it. It counts. Ugh, ugh, excuse me. Ugh. I may stop by the church again at some point just to make sure I grabbed all the secrets. Because there's probably, there's probably a good chance I missed quite a few things while I was there. But at least there's someone to, uh, what the? There's a cop car here before. It's gone! Oh! But at least we got someone now. We got a, we basically got a sidekick in this game now with uh, the little, oh, the cop cars just disappeared for some reason. But because of the girl, we now have a little sidekick character. How many times am I going to say that? I think it's because I keep getting, damn, game con, just render already. It's not my, it, yeah, it's not, uh, it's not your, it's not your TV, folks. It's my TV or my system or something. All right. Ronan pops the question. Today he asked me, uh, he asked, and I honestly didn't know what to say. I want to be with him. I love him, but he asked to marry me. I found myself unable to say anything. Like, my voice was frozen. He just knelt there. My son was crushing uh, him, and then he got up. It was like five minutes before I could tell him I needed to think, but have I blown it? Funny how I read a message in the church saying she accepted it, and then I just now read the she wasn't sure. What, aren't you supposed to kind of have it in an order, or something like that? Anyway. God, what is up with this version of the game? I guess it's just too much crap going on. Eh, this probably takes me to another. I better not go out of order. If I find it on the way to that place, then I'll do it. What's this? And another one of those. Get those on the way. That one's that one's not on the way, so I'll I'll uh, get that one later. Let's see what this one is. Salem feels dangerous. Salem is supposed to be a quiet place, the kind of place where you can escape the problems of a big city. But it's getting to where I don't feel safe walking outside and at night anymore. I talked with Ronan about it, and he tried to assure me that he's the most dangerous guy in town, but the bravado doesn't help much. Something is sick about this place. Hmm. Well, old places like that, I guess, would would have that uh, sense of a uh, feeling or forebodedness or something like that. I'm just doing a quick sweep of the place before I head off towards it. I want to make sure I found everything in the way. Uh, nope, okay. Start with all this Would a new police chief do better? I should go home now. I don't remember if I talked to her last time, but that's the thoughts of a random woman on a bench. Tonight at ten. Hello. Get over here. What's it feel like to die? Wow, do people really think like that? I don't know. I, I guess everyone does. At some point, they they give they kind of ask themselves, right? Yeah. Apparently around here there is a a uh, a reveal or something. Don't want to go in there, not just because it's not uh, on the way. Judgment House plaque, known as Judgment House, the former residence of Judge John Hawthorne. 1641 to 1717, who at the time held court in his own parlor room. He kept the accused locked in a cellar, as was the custom in colonial times. His unfortunate role in the witch trials of 1692 became a, a permanent blotch on his name. Hmm. 
I wonder if witches will have something to do with the uh, this story. Wouldn't be surprised. Salem witch trials and all that fun jazz. Okay, there's got to be a. Maybe it's in here. Ah, here we go. Oh, things that blew in this town. Flowers, huh? Okay, now we can leave. Just because every time you see that message, you're like, oh, there's the thing. There's a thingy, Jigger. Hey, another, uh. Another gas. gas head story. Let's see what else is around here. I know I saw another. another one of those. Let's see, got a little more of those left. What do you have to say, buddy? Stay in well lit places. Should be okay. Thrown out a window. That would be so awful. Wait, did that lady walk through the wall, or is that wall just my figment of my imagination? Huh. Okay. So stuff just kind of appears out of nowhere to cock block me? Is that it? Sure, that makes a lot of sense. Why not? I almost don't want to run just because I, I don't want to miss anything while I'm walking around, but I don't want to drag my feet. Hello, here's a couple. Hanging about, Stay having well fun. Lit places. Should be okay. Oh, some Before of the AI just has repeat uh, functions. How nice. So well, I didn't expect every single individual to have a unique... Oh, no, no. There we go. Wait. Oh. Would a new there we go. Police chief do better? Yep. If I talk to any random piece of people on, on the street, it's just going to be uh, the same thing. So, skip that nonsense. There we go. Oh, God. Hey, dead dude. No, 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 no. Rick. And Laura, they're, they're dead. It's all my fault. We were just having fun. It was, it was an accident. I, I, I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I, I, I can't even remember doing it. Hey, hey, Drunk, hey, drinking and driving, huh? Calm down for a second and talk to me. What's your name? Oh, uh, Brad. Good. Now, tell me what happened. I don't know. We were out in the town blowing off some steam. And one drink turned into three, and three turned into... Who knows how many? Oh, the details are hazy. I, uh, I must have been driving Rick and Laura home when... Oh, God! I killed them. I'll never forgive myself for doing this. You don't know if you did. You said it yourself. The details are hazy. Now I can take a look around here and see if anything jumps out at me. God, what have I done? Looks like we got ourselves another mini mystery. All right. Gruesome car crash. Let's see what this says. It's not too much to go on, but this brutal car crash might have some evidence that points to what happened that night. Well, I assume it's just drinking and driving, but let's see. Hmm. B rad. Brad's car. Any play, there's no doubt this was Brad's car. Oop, didn't mean to look through that. Okay, let's see. What's that? Ah, Scotch whiskey. You drank that. Brad, wait, how do you know it's Brad's favorite whiskey? It's not like you talked to him about it. Ah, here's another one. clue. A raging clue. It's not much, but it's something. Gas station's not far from here. I should check it out. Huh, so... I found all the clues, but I can't, uh... I can't officialize it until I find the gas station, huh? Okay. Well, we'll uh, we'll leave that. We'll we'll put a pen in that for later. Now we get some more gas bombing story of some sort. Ooh, yeah, there's just a ton of collectibles. You could just spend the whole game just doing this, which I pretty much am. It seems like 
Armaments History Plaque. On this spot stood a fortification that contained the armament stores sought by the British soldiers on February 26, 1775. The brave citizens of this town kept the British Army at bay by the strategic use of drawbids, thereby preventing the seizure of critical weapons for the war that would benign, or sorry, begin only months later. Yeah. I might get the docking. Get your burb. I do good job. Any, uh, see any other random secrets? Okay. We'll keep going. And we'll find that gas station at some point, too, so we can find out about that. But, like I said, that's probably on the way, I bet. Wouldn't be surprised. God, clues everywhere. Not a drop to drink. It's all it's about my killer. Unfortunately, we haven't made any arrests, but we don't have any suspects. That's why we strongly encourage the people of Salem to contact the police with any possible leads. This is going to take the cooperation of the entire community. Yeah, most people tend to want to not get dealt in that stuff because, like I said before in a previous episode, everyone's basically being seen by someone. It just depends on who actually tells people about it. Like, there's a really good chance in most situations that someone has seen someone do a crime but decided to keep quiet about that for whatever reason. You know, whether they were had good intentions or not. You know, usually the intention is, I don't want to get involved in this, you know, type of thing. Wow, this is taking me completely different directions than I wanted to go to. It's, I bet this just takes me around. I bet I could just walk in and run into something else. But, just, uh... Oh, there's another one of these. Ooh. What the heck? Oh, more info about the killer. The FBI can get involved in support uh the FBI can get involved to support local law enforcement if it's clearly established that there is a serial killer. The Salem Police Department had no attempt statement on the FBI's announcement at press time, but continually refused to describe the deaths as the work of a serial character. There's no sense getting the town hysterical or something that may not be true. SPD spokeswoman Ingrid Larson said in an earlier statement. I wonder if she still is a part of the, uh, that. We'll go in there in a second. Although I don't think there's any need to, really. Is there, like, a reveal around here that I'm not aware of? Oh, there is, there is. I think I'm going around in circles, guys. <laughs> like a place I'm not even supposed to go to yet. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to like overexplore until the game tells me to. So now, if the game tells me to go back, I'll go back. But I don't want to. I don't want to get. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Otherwise, I'll completely like just derail myself. Let alone, let alone the game. Gas station history plaque. So. I can't tell. SOC is a common believed to stand for Salem Oil Company. However, no such company exists. Initials actually stand for Sons of Charlie, the legal name of this service station established by three brothers, Chuck, Charles Jr., Sean, and Samus O'Leary in 1928, when automobiles started to become common. The business nearly did not survive, survive, uh, did not survive the Great Depression, but managed to keep itself alive as a front for illegal alcohol sale during Prohibition. Yep. One of the supposed beginnings of organized crime, although organized crime had been around before, but it's it's definitely considered one of the most prominent uh, reasons why uh, why it's around. All right. Oh, he's got nothing. Okay. So we're trying to find clues about that uh, about the uh, car wreck. Brad. Cap. <laughs> I mean, Cap. What? Oh. Uh, gas station. Yeah, the SOC. Okay, great. Uh, Brad making a call, huh? Looks like Brad was trying to call a cab, but something scared him off before it could arrive. Okay, so he tried to be responsible at some point, but something stopped him. If I ever met the killer so in the street, it. I don't know what I'd do. Okay, I don't need to mess with that then. I assume these people actually don't have anything to do with it. What's this? Hello? Who's this young lady? Refueling woman! That's her title! I didn't know you were such a lightweight. 
Uh, but another one of his drunken friends, so that's Laura. So Brad, Laura. And you must be Paul? Vomiting man! <laughs> That's making me feel ill. <laughs> Ricky may have been drunk off his ass, but still, something startled him. So something scared them before they even uh, tried to get away, huh? I assume I can't get in there. Okay, what other clues am I missing? And how far does the game let me, like, walk away before it says I'm out of the clue section? Okay. So I have to be... I have to stay in here. Okay, that takes me out. Huh. So I'm trying to find... What am I missing? Whoa, 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 game. Come on, calm down. Calm down, yo. Does that take me out? Huh, okay. I'm missing two more clues, but what? Foo, 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 foo. Is that guy? Oh, it can't be. Maybe it's something? Just keep adding oil faster than the leak. Should last another year. Okay, that's nothing. Huh. Alright, well, I'm having trouble, but, uh... We'll figure out the rest of this next time on Murdered Soul Suspect. There, we shall head to the Salem Police Department. Yeah, I know, I haven't been making much progress, I'm sorry. But, we'll head to the police department, we'll also find out the, the mystery of Brad over here! We'll figure out all the clues for Brad! See y'all then, thanks for watching.